Hello friends, it's Mario Romero at Romero and & Company, and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be covering four reasons why the end of forbearance will not lead to a wave of foreclosures. Let's get right into it. The first reason the end of forbearance will not lead to foreclosures is because there are fewer homeowners in trouble this time. After the last housing crash, about 9.3 million households lost their home to a foreclosure, short sale, or because they simply gave it back to the bank. As of last Friday, the total number of foreclosures still in forbearance stood at 1.863 million. Yes, that's a large number, but not close to the 9.3 million from the last housing crash. Many experts projected 30% of all mortgage holders would enter the forbearance program, but only 8.5% actually did. And that number is down to 3.5%. The second reason is most of the 1.86 million homeowners in forbearance have enough equity to sell their home. Of the 1.86 million homeowners currently in forbearance, 87% have at least 10% equity in their homes. The 10% equity number is important because it enables homeowners to sell their homes and pay the related expenses instead of facing the hit under credit that a forbearance or short sale would create. The remaining 13% might not have the option to sell. So if the entire 13% of the 1.86 million homes went into foreclosure, that would total about 241,800 mortgages. The third reason, the current market can absorb any listings come into the market. When foreclosures hit the market in 2008, there was an excess supply of homes for sale. The situation is exactly the opposite today. In 2008, there was a nine month supply of listings for sale. Today, that number stands at less than three months of inventory on the market and lower in some markets. So any foreclosure increases will be quickly absorbed by the market. It will not lead to any price declines. And finally, those in power will do whatever is necessary to prevent a wave of foreclosures. Just last Friday, the White House released the fact sheet explaining how homeowners with government-backed mortgages will be given further options to enable them to keep their homes when ex exiting forbearance. And here's an example mentioned in the release. For homeowners who can resume their pre-pandemic monthly mortgage payment and where agencies have the authority, agencies will continue requiring mortgage servicers to offer options that allow borrowers to move missed payments to the end of the mortgage at no additional cost to the homeowner. Bottom line. When evaluating the four reasons above, it's clear there won't be a flood of foreclosures coming to the market as forbearance program winds down. If you have any questions about potentially selling your home or trading up to a new property, feel free to give me a call anytime at 602-920-0306. I can help you make the right decision for whatever you decide to do. We've been talking to both buyers and sellers every day and can help you make the right decision. We appreciate you for your friendship, referral, and for trusting us with your real estate needs. Take care and make it a great day. Mm -hmm.